Head coach Chuck Pagano has stepped to the podium. Let's go back live to Foxborough. Checked out, but uh, obviously uh, very disappointing uh, loss. Uh, we ran into uh, an outstanding football team um, that played extremely well uh, in all three phases. Um, we didn't, uh, you know, they got us reeling uh, early on. Um, kind of had us on our heels, uh, we, tempo, uh, you know, situational football. Uh, they played well, we didn't. Third down, uh, red zone, um, had issues again, you know, uh, stopping the run, um, did not do that. Uh, again, couldn't get off the field, you know, on third down and uh, felt like we made a couple plays uh, there towards the end of the, uh, the half. Uh, the, Quell's interception and a, a stop in the red area, force a field goal, make it a 10-point game at half, and felt like we got things kind of calmed down. And then, you know, they exploded uh, for a bunch of points, and we had no answers on offense uh, in the third quarter. So um, it's a disappointing, obviously very disappointing loss. Uh, nobody wants to end their season that way. Uh, but uh, like I told the team, we'll learn from this, we'll grow from this, and um, we'll go to work and, and try to make 215 uh, better than 214. And um, we took another step forward. And I'm very, very proud of the coaches. I'm very proud of the players. Uh, you know, they took but another step. So, um, again, we saw what Baltimore okay, did. Okay, Colts owner Jim Irsay talking week, with the media you know, now. We'll get back to Pagano in just a moment. So had a chance Irsay to win has to say, they're the with Dave first. You know, this game. Uh, you know, was a, a major disappointment, obviously, because uh, it, it wasn't a close game, and everyone we could see that. And so we're really disappointed. But the message is that we have gotten better, we've advanced, and uh, we are going to get there. Uh, you know, with Andrew Luck in this era, it just didn't happen tonight. So that's disappointing. There might be some. There might be some changes in the off season, Jimmy. But I'm hearing perhaps once that new year deadline opens up, you, you want to re-sign Andrew long term, get that done, and then. See where you go from there. Well, again, I, I'm not, you know, going to discuss Andrew's contract and and things like that. I, you know, that that's not something that really is on, you know, on the top of my in the top of my mind. You know, he just finished his third year. It's a five-year deal. So again, I, you know, that's not um, in my thought process. What, what is right now? What do you think? Um, I think to just evaluate to see, uh, you know, when you look at, uh, you know, Green Bay, Seattle. Uh, of course, New England and, and maybe Dallas, you know, that, um, uh, you know, that, that we were close, but again, we have to take it another step. So I think what the evaluation is to see what we need to do to get there. But uh, again, where we've gone in this era with Andrew, um, you know, to, to get to the AFC championship game, uh, but to win playoff games like we have, including on the road. Um, it, it was an exciting year. It was an incredible year, and uh, um, it, it feels tough tonight after a game like this, of course. But um, it, it was an incredible year, and again, um, we're going to get there, and, and we're going to work hard to make sure we do. What's Jim, you think about missing? You, thought... you know, again, I think what's missing is when you get right. some of those things that really distract you, taking some of the guys' mind or focus away from the game, even though it's as big a game as they get. No. No, we got uh, you know too good a veteran uh, leadership in our locker room, and and uh, not gonna not gonna use that as as any excuse. Like you said, um, it is what it is. It's unfortunate, uh, but it had nothing to do with the outcome of this game. Coach, what's your emotions like when you go in that locker room and you realize this is where it all ends, and the long journey you've been on, and just have to say this is where it came from? Well, you uh, you know we all envisioned you know coming up here and, and playing better and giving ourselves a chance to get it deep in the in the fourth quarter and try to find a way to win the game Chris and and move on and and uh, have an opportunity uh, you know to uh, play for that uh, play for that Lombardi play for a championship and it, it just didn't work out and uh, uh, it's a tough uh, tough pill to swallow uh, obviously but uh, you know we know that uh, this comes with the territory, and uh, it's not for it's not for everybody. It's not for the timid. So, um, you know, we'll we'll lick our wounds, you know, for a while. But uh, but again, we've got a lot to look back on and a lot to be proud of. Colts head coach Chuck Pagano talking at the podium as we continue our live post game coverage here on HDSN 45-7 Patriots over the Colts. 
we uh, didn't cover them. Didn't line up right and uh, didn't cover them. So credit them. How do you feel? I know when you say you have a lot of, a lot of answers that you're gonna fight. How do you feel about uh, Andrew? Do you feel that you just have to give him more, surround him with more? Uh, I mean, I don't know the other pieces, but he is both important. How, how do you feel going forward what, what you need to? I mean, I mean, you, we're not going to obviously pin it on, you know, on one guy, and uh, uh, you know, it, it takes a it takes a lot, you know, to come up here and and uh, win a football game of this magnitude and 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 beat a team that's uh, as good as this one is, and uh, we got to go back to work and and f try to find some of those answers, you know, and it doesn't all fall, you know, obviously you know, on the quarterback. Um, you know, you know, I don't. We're gonna look at the tape and and uh, and we'll and we'll move on and we'll continue to work and and grind and and uh, until we reach that ultimate goal. And uh, you know, I'm sure glad we got the guy. So I probably wouldn't be having this conversation with you, you know, if he wasn't our quarterback.